Hi guys and welcome back to Fiction Food Friday. We are in the land of Narnia today and we are making that gooey pink stuff that the Queen <coughs> gave, White Witch. gave to Edmund. Anything you'd like to eat? Turkish delight? We're making homemade Turkish delight. So here's what you'll need. Four cups of sugar, one and a half cups of water, three teaspoons of lemon juice, one cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of cream of tartar, three cups of water, one and a half tablespoons of rose water, and I found this in the little tiny international section at Hannaford, some red food coloring, one cup of powdered sugar mixed with a quarter cup of cornstarch, a square cake pan lined with foil and sprayed with a nonstick spray, a food thermometer that goes up to at least 240 degrees Fahrenheit, a pizza cutter, and a hand mixer. Before now, I've never made Turkish Delay. I, I never tried it. I didn't even know what it was supposed to taste like. So I got a recipe online from Genius Kitchen. The only thing I ended up changing was I added an extra teaspoon of lemon juice, and then I slightly altered the preparation a little bit and the look of it to make it look like Edmunds. Otherwise, the credit goes to Genius Kitchen. First thing you wanna do is cook up some candy syrup. So you wanna grab your sugar, your one and a half cups of water, and your lemon juice and then cook that mixture over medium heat, stirring it until the sugar dissolves. And by the time your sugar is dissolved, your mixture should be boiling. So once that happens, reduce the mixture to a simmer and then stick in your thermometer. Let it simmer on its own until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit. And while that's happening, we're gonna get a slightly larger pot and put it over medium heat. Then add your three cups of water, your cornstarch and your cream of tartar. Right now it's like oobleck like that stuff that you made in science class. Soft. Hard. Soft. And we need it to be smooth. Now the first time I tried this, I whisked it by hand and it was not powerful enough. So definitely use your hand mixer for this stuff. Once it's smooth and there are no more tough spots on the bottom, beat the mixture until it boils. Once you start to see these bubbles come through, that means that it's getting thicker. And that's when you wanna start beating it constantly until it turns thick and gooey. If anything, over mix it because under mixing it will just ruin it. In fact, it will look like this. Once your syrup reaches 240 degrees, remove it from the heat. Then in thirds, you wanna pour it into your little oobleck mixture and beat in between, making sure that the syrup is fully incorporated each time. And once it's all mixed together, you're going to let it sit there simmering over low heat for about an hour, stirring it every 10 or 15 minutes. Now at this point, it should be slightly darker in color, but still smooth. So now is when we add the- What are you doing? Narnia business, Aslan. You better tell me I'm not a lion, Jadis. Um, actually, yes, you are. So now is when we add our rose water and food coloring. This literally smells like rose. So add one and a half tablespoons of the rose water and however many drops of food coloring you need to get the color you want. Edmund's Turkish Delight was a very deep pink, pretty much red. So I'm adding four or five drops, but you could make it a light pink or dark pink or whatever you wanna do. And once it's all mixed up, you wanna pour it into your foil lined pan Use a rubber spatula to get out all the excess and try to even the top out a little bit and then let it set for like five or six hours, ideally overnight. Lucky for us, I made one last night. So it is set and cooled and ready to be cut. The cool thing about the foil is you can pull the whole thing right out of the pan without any issues and then the foil just peels right off. And now to cut it up, you wanna sprinkle your surface with that powdered sugar and cornstarch mixture. Then flip the Turkish Delight right on top of it. Peel the foil off, then sprinkle on some more of the powder because it's gonna be sticky. And now get your pizza cutter so we can slice it up. Now Edmund's pieces were pretty large, so I'm gonna cut mine into 36 total pieces, but you might even wanna go larger than that. So five lines on each side. Then take each piece of the Turkish Delight, stick it in your powder mixture, and swirl them around until all of the surfaces are covered. Transfer them over to a platter, and that's it. My favorite part is biting into it. 
on a scene of color on his side. At first I was kind of roasted out by the rose taste, but all together it's not bad. I also heard that it tastes really good when you cover it in chocolate, so if any of you try that, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment and let me know what other fiction foods you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to Nikki Lee Bakes and I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.